Hi folks, I'm Jared Bentley. You're watching the Johnson City Press Week in Review right here on johnsoncitypress.com. Jonesboro's Matthew Hill will no longer serve as Deputy Speaker in the Tennessee House of Representatives, a position he was appointed to in January by disgraced former Speaker Glenn Casada. Newly elected Tennessee House Speaker Cameron Sexton, who was sworn in last Friday during a special session, has chosen Curtis Johnson of Clarksville to take Hill's place. Hill will have a new role as chairman of the New House Appropriations Subcommittee created to examine the size and impact of the budget and will oversee parts of the annual state budget process. The subcommittee will assess the process of formulating the budget and will analyze the spending of state departments, ensuring they are running efficiently. Hill said he has also been added to the Facilities Licensure and Regulation Subcommittee and he will no longer serve as the chair of the Ten Care Subcommittee. He said the rest of his committee appointments will remain the same. The Johnson City Board of Education discussed concerns about the district's capital needs at Monday's board meeting, addressing equity between the county and city school districts. After Jonesboro recently unveiled a proposal to fund a $28 million school and recreational complex in town, Johnson City school officials have had concerns about how it will affect plans to reconfigure Indian Trail Intermediate School and Liberty Bell Middle School into two new middle schools. The original plan hoped to house grades 5 through 8 in those schools, but on Monday, the district approved a new plan to place 5th graders back into elementary schools, meaning new facilities at Town Acres Elementary School and renovations to Lake Ridge, Woodland, and Southside Elementary Schools would be needed. All of this would contribute to about $30 million in capital needs. Last night, the Washington County Board of Education voted unanimously to enter into an agreement with the town of Jonesboro to build the new K-8 school in question, to be built on a 48-acre track just off North Cherokee Street and leased by the county. The town would enter into a lease-to-own agreement with Washington County, which would make annual payments of $2.362 million a year as part of a 20-year deal. Jonesboro Mayor Chuck Vest said the town should be able to build a new K-8 that is superior to the $28 million pre-K-8 school that opened earlier this month in Boone's Creek. This is a win for all parties, Vest told board members, noting it would eventually represent a $40 million financial victory for the county. It should be beautiful weather this weekend. With the hurricane coming in from the south, we're expecting a lot of rain next week. So get out for this holiday three-day weekend, enjoy yourself, and do your best to have fun. For the Johnson City Press, I'm Jared Bentley. Thanks for watching.